Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review on the Byredo Mojave Ghost. I'll be letting you guys know how I feel about this and if I think it's worth the hype or not. Because this little guy here is $230 and the smaller size retails for $150. So I definitely want to let you guys know what my thoughts on it are, how it smells like to me, how it reacted to my body chemistry. I also sprayed this on my son so I'll let you guys know if he liked it or not and what it smelled like on him because it smells a little different on him than it did on me um also i will let you guys know my little secret on where you could get this bad boy for a fraction of the price so if you do want to see my review on the byredo mojave ghost then just keep on watching okay so i picked this up as the byredo mojave ghost now this is the bigger size so this is the one that retails for 230 dollars and i gotta say this is a beautiful packaging like this just looks so gorgeous it does come with this sleeve and then when you pull it out it comes in this nice little heavy box. Now this is a beautiful presentation. So if you are giving this to someone as like a gift, it's absolutely gorgeous. And honestly, the delivery is just amazing. So I got mine at beautyspin.com. Now they did change their name to notino.com. But if you do type in beautyspin.com, it still pops up. So I just wanna let you guys know they did change the name, but it's the same company. Now they are absolutely amazing. I have talked about them before. Um, they are fantastic delivery I gotta say like every time I order from them I usually get it within a day to two days later max so they are amazing with their delivery service and it's free shipping over a hundred dollars which when I shop there it's easy to go over a hundred dollars because they have amazing stuff this is where I like to get my higher-end products for like a fraction of the price because something that might retail for really high like two hundred and thirty dollars is not two hundred and thirty dollars you get it for like half the price you know and they do that a lot with their high higher end luxury brands so that is my little tip to you guys if you are into higher end luxury items like skincare or makeup definitely check them out because they have so many things from like Sicily to Byredo to La Mer to La Prairie and so much more. So definitely check them out because you might find something you absolutely love. That's exactly where I got this one from and it is the same exact one that you do get at the other store. So I do want to let you guys know that it's not like a special limited edition or it's not expired or anything like that. It's the same exact product that you are going to get at the regular stores. So moving on to the Byredo. Now let me tell you guys guys this packaging is amazing like I said in the beginning it definitely delivers it is heavy like when I got this I was so shocked that it was so heavy I thought it was gonna be like a cheap little packaging like most perfumes are and I was just gonna throw it away this is one I'm definitely going to keep like I'm not throwing this away not at all so let's open this up so this is what it looks like and it does look really nice like like how cute is this isn't this cute i don't know i like it this might not impress some people but this definitely impresses me and i feel like it impresses me a little bit more because you could tell it's a higher end product you could tell there's thought behind this and if you were like gifting this to anybody like this is just beautiful presentation it really is um so this comes with a card here and this does come with your bottle inside. So if you do get the smaller version, it's going to be the same thing, except, you know, just a smaller bottle. So let me take this out. Okay, so this is exactly what the bottle looks like. It's really beautiful. It is glass. It's a really heavy glass, I gotta say. The top has a magnet to it, so you take it off, and that's where the spritzer is. But it has a magnet, so let me show you. Can you see that? it kind of pulls you see that it pulls it down so it has a magnet i think that's really cool because i don't have to like worry about it. is the cap on it's pulling it down because it has a magnet in there so i really like that that actually threw me off i wasn't really sure about that when i first saw it. i was like what i like that okay so this smells so good so when i first smelled this in the bottle it smelled one way to me like it smells a little peppery to me. In fact, this kind of reminded me of the New York one. I don't remember what it was called, but it was like, I love New York. And it was 
the one in the black bottle. That's actually what it smelled like to me. But that one has like a really strong peppery smell compared to this one where it is faint, but you could definitely tell it's there. When I sprayed it on myself and my son, it smelled totally different. So he really enjoyed it. He's 12, so he's going into the stage where he wants to wear some colognes and some perfumes and things like that. And this is a unisex perfume. I don't know if I let you guys know that, but this is a unisex perfume so men and women can wear it. So that's why I didn't have a problem spraying it on him because I wanted to see if he enjoyed it and if it smelled the same way on him that it did on me. Um, he really did like it. It smelled a little more musky on him than it did on me, which was good because I don't want to smell too musky. But it still had like an undertone of sweetness on him and a woodsiness. And it also smelled very fresh and clean. And he's going to be a teenager very soon. So, you know, we don't want any funkiness going on. You know, too many scents at once is never any good. So the freshness and like the cleanness smelled really nice on him. It is a stronger perfume, but it's not like overpowering. It is still like a freshness and cleanness to it. And I really do like that because sometimes I don't want to smell like I have perfume on or sometimes I don't want to have like too many notes going on in the same perfume, which I do have other perfumes. I do have a perfume collection. I am still building my perfume collection. Um, I did do a video on it. I'll link it down below if you guys want to check that out. It was like my top five perfumes. But since then, I have built my perfume collection up a little bit more, and I'm really enjoying the new, fresher, cleaner scents. Like, especially that we're going into spring and summertime, the heavier scents I'm trying to put down a little bit more because I've noticed when, like, the weather is getting a little hotter and warmer, it doesn't smell as good as it does in the winter time. you know? I don't know, not on me anyway, so I want to smell a little more fresher, a little more cleaner, maybe a little sweetness in the mix. You know, I just want to smell very fresh, clean, like I just took a shower and I'm fresh for the day. You know what I mean? I hope that makes sense. So I've been trying to go towards perfumes and colognes that smell like that, and this is one of them. I have to say I really enjoy this. When I spray it on, it does linger throughout the day. It basically lasts about eight hours on me, maybe even a little bit longer, and that's only from one spritz. I don't go overboard with my perfumes. I usually spray like once or twice, and I'm good to go for the day because I don't want it to be overpowering for other people around me. So one spritz is more than enough for me personally and I do really enjoy this perfume. Um, like I said, it does last about eight hours. Towards the end of the day, maybe like eight, ten hours or so, it's still there, like you could tell it's lingering around, but it's not as strong and pronounced as it was when I first sprayed it on. So, I mean, you're still going to smell it 8 to 10 hours later. It's just going to be very faint, but you could definitely tell it's there still. And that's fine because I could always spray it on afterwards anyway. If I have to freshen up throughout the day and I feel like, okay, well, it's not as strong as I like it to be, let me spritz it again. And that was only from one spritz. So if you spritz it like two or three times, I'm sure it's going to last a little longer. It's going to be a little more pronounced than the one spritz. So getting back to how this smells. So this smells really nice. It smells very fresh. It smells very clean. It smells a little peppery, a little woodsy. It smells a little sweet. It smells a little powdery. Um, I also do smell the little amber in there and it smells a little flowery, but not too flowery. Does that make any sense? I hope it does. But I believe this has magnolia in it, so it does smell a little like that. Um, I do really like how it just smells very fresh and clean and crisp and soapy and just like summer days, spring days, like almost like when it rains outside, like you have that fresh crisp smell to it. That's exactly what it smells like to me. I just absolutely love this. So it smells a little more musky on my son than it does on me, which is a good thing because I don't want to smell too musky, you know, and that comes back to how it's going to react to everybody's body chemistry a little bit differently because I do smell a little more pepper on him than on me. Again, that comes back to how it reacts with our body chemistry a little bit differently. And also when I do smell it right out of the body, it does smell more peppery and I don't smell the freshness or the sweetness really. I only smell it when I spray it on me. So if you are going to the store and you're going to test this out, 
definitely try to spray it on yourself or on something. Don't just smell it out of the bottle because you aren't going to get the full effect of the perfume, you know what I mean? You are going to have to test it out on your body personally or if you want to spray it on your clothes, spray it on your clothes and see how it develops because it's one of those perfumes that are going to develop. It's going to be a few layers of different stages. Now, I'm not really sure of the different stages, so I'll link everything down below for you guys, like the different notes or maybe I'll put some on the screen because I'm really bad at explaining like the different layers and I don't want to say like oh it has this or oh it turns into this you know but I did want to tell you guys how it smells on me and how it smells on my son and how I do really enjoy this and so does he so we're definitely gonna be sharing this big bottle we probably will go through it really fast because there's two people using it I wonder if I could just spray this on like everybody can I just go around spritzing people? <laughs> anyway, I really do like this. I could actually see myself even spritzing this a little bit on my pillow at night because it's really calming and soothing to me. I think it's like the freshness and the cleanness to it that is just very relaxing. So I do like that because it doesn't have too many things going on. It is not overly complex, but it does have different layers and different notes to it and different stages, which I really enjoy and I find really calming and smoothing, but it's not something like overpowering and I think that's the calmness that it gives me like it's not a really strong intense kind of smell and it's not a strong kind of note that's bothering me I don't know something about this it just really makes me calm and it just it smells so damn good <laughs> I gotta say, it just smells so good. So I've been enjoying this. I definitely think it's worth the hype. I see why it's hyped up because it is really, really good. So that basically wraps up my review of the Byredo Mojave Ghost. I gotta say, I absolutely love this. I really enjoy this. I'm really happy that I picked this up and it just smells so good so good so this is probably gonna be like my spring and summertime scents especially that we are going into hollow weather i want something fresh and clean and crisp and this is definitely the one for me so let me know in the comments if you guys have tried mojave ghost if you want to try mojave ghost or if you ever tried anything by by Rado, let me know in the comments and yeah that's basically about it i hope you guys did like this video thank you guys so much for watching and if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe please come join a little youtube family here we'll love to have you and and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.